let's look at what is auxiliary and characteristics equations to make the standard form of second order homogeneous differential equation simple let's rewrite it as you can see that this is exactly this and this is exactly this writing it in this order makes it simple let's consider this if the y the x is let's say m and cy is let's say k this standard form becomes this is what is called an algebraic equation and is in the form of a quadratic equation however in ordinary differential equation we don't call it quadratic equation it is called auxiliary equation or characteristic equation but in solving the auxiliary equation or the characteristic equation we still need the quadratic equation formulas once you get answers to your auxiliary equation or to your characteristic equation you now substitute your answers into the general solution formulas the general solution is of three types and three cases for a second order homogeneous differential equation now let's consider the general solutions of case one case two and case three case one is when b square minus 4ac is greater than zero hence we say that the root is real and distinct that is if you have a quadratic function of this nature where the curve cut on two parts of the x axis for example we say that here that m1 has a different value and m2 has a different value in such a case we say that the root is real and distinct distinct means they are different when your m1 is not equal to your m2 then your general solution becomes this your final answer must be in this form after considering the initial conditions or the boundary conditions this must always be a plus not a minus unless maybe in your final answer your b got a negative case number two if b square minus 4ac is equal zero we say that the root is real and equal root that is the root just cuts only at one section of the graph where m1 is just equal to m2 and not in this order or in this order in such a condition where m1 is equal to m2 this becomes the general solution to the ordinary differential equation you can see that this is same as this and always remember your x after the b if you consider the first case you see that this m and this m are not the same in case number three b square minus 4ac is less than zero that is we just obtained a complex root in such a case the parabolic curve will not touch the x axis hence no root when the auxiliary equation or characteristic equation got no root our general solution becomes this that is exponential alpha x in bracket a cos beta x plus b sine beta x in order to resolve the problem between b and beta that is this b is this b but this beta is this many lecturers will decide to use a1 for c1 and b 
for C2. However, it doesn't change the result. Similarly, for a characteristic solution of this nature, this alpha is the real part of the solution and the beta becomes the imaginary part of the solution. Any result you get as alpha will go in this position and any number that is here for beta will go in this position, not for B. An example will make everything clear and when to apply each of this in a given question. I will see you in the next video.